Look at that cloud. Look at that cloud. That one right there, it looks like a, gosh, a fire hydrant. And that one, that one over there looks like, goodness, I don't know, a hamburger. And that cloud over there looks like, gosh, freedom. And that cloud over there looks like it's time for... So, Matt, hey guys. So, uh, I was just doing some some cloud, some cloud, just look, I'm just looking at the sky of the clouds, and um, just reminding myself of one of my favorite things to do in math, and that is to work with exponents. So, before we could do any work with exponents, I'm sure you have some knowledge of exponents, right? Everybody likes to go with 2 squared equals 4. You know why that's everybody's favorite? Because even if they do it wrong and they think it means 2 times 2, they get it right. But the second you ask them, okay, good, what's 2 cubed? And they say 6, then you slap them in the face and say, you know nothing. So that's why I'm here. So let's talk about exponents and what they mean. Well, Exponents. So we're going to be dealing with a variable x. Why? Because that could represent any number. So if I've got x to the fourth, that's the same as if I said 8 to the fourth. Same rule will apply. x to the fourth does not mean x times 4. It means x times itself four times. x to the eighth, x times itself eight times. Not x times eight. That's entirely different. Okay? So that is exponents. So what I'm going to teach you today are four rules. One's going to feel kind of like not a rule, but four rules. So let's go with it. Let's start with the power rule. So I know the handwriting is not the best, but the power rule says when an exponent is, it's hard to read backwards, it's just, when an exponent is raised to another exponent, multiply, why am I starting with the power rule? Hey, pretend that didn't happen. I meant to start with the product rule, and we'll just edit that out. Um, so yeah, why don't you go ahead and edit that out? All right, so the product rule says, when you multiply exponents with matching bases, that's key, that's key. They, the bases have to match. You add the exponents and keep the base. For example, x cubed times x to the fourth. Not x cubed times y to the fourth. That doesn't matter. They've got to have matching bases. So what I did was I expanded this for you. x cubed is right here. x times x times x. x to the fourth is right here. x times x times x times x times x. Well, how did I know to multiply in the middle? Because it tells us to. So when you do that, you have x to the seventh power. Because there's seven x's being multiplied. Okay? That's the power rule. The quotient rule. I uh, seem to have erased some of this, so we'll edit this in through the through the through the magic of editing, and you'll never know that I just wrote that. And now, all right. So the quotient rule says when you man, I erase a lot. Divide exponents with the same base. Subtract the exponents and keep the base. So, we're showing division like a fraction because remember, all fractions are our division problems. That line means divided by. You know the division symbol? I'm just going to go on a little rant here. The division symbol, I'll put it right here. What do you think that means? There's your numer. There's your denominator. Denominator. Okay? So, the division symbol is nothing more than a fraction itself. And we're going to edit that out. And, and never knew I wrote it on this board. Okay, so x to the sixth power divided by x squared. So again, I um, expanded this. x to the sixth power, that's six x's being multiplied. x squared, that's two x's being multiplied. And whenever you divide something by itself, it equals one. So that means I can cancel that out. I can cancel that out. And what I'm left with is just 4x's on the top, or 
x to the fourth power. All we do is subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4. Which brings me back over here. I forgot to say that. 3 plus 4 is 7. That's how these rules work. Now, the power rule, which we started talking about. When an exponent is raised to another power, or another exponent, multiply the exponents and keep the base. It's also called power to a power. Why? Because there's a power to a power. So x cubed squared is the same as saying x cubed, I expanded the x cubed, squared, which means x cubed times x cubed. That's what squared means, right? The same thing twice, multiplied. And if you count, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, x to the 6th power. Much easier way to do this is just to multiply the powers. 2 times 3 is 6. And then the simplest of the rules is the zero rule. Any number raised to the power of zero is equal to one. Any number. X to the zero power is one. A million to the zero power is one. A hundred to the zero power is one. Sto to the zero power is one. Anything to the power of zero is equal to one. And those are your four rules. So again, we've got the product rule, the quotient rule, the power rule, or power to a power, and the zero rule. Any questions, let us know. Um, I hope things are going well. And watch out for puddles. And I'm going to go back to looking at the cloud. That cloud looks like an octopus. And that cloud looks like the outro. Do, 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 do